Uh, hello, and again, my name is Anne. Today, we're talking about the coronavirus. So, today, I'd like to talk about quarantine and a potential and a outbreak that has happened in the United States. So, first, I personally think that quarantine is not effective. Like, to a certain degree, it may be effective, but mostly it is not. So, because it's coronavirus is airborne, airborne when a person is quarantined they're quarantined because they, they they're quarantined either because they have they knew they have common contact with 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 someone that has a disease or two they have been they have uh shown symptoms and is going to be quarantined but I'd also like to talk about how in the first case where you come in contact with 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 someone who has a disease you already have the disease so technically the quarantine will not and you have already met other people and spread the disease onto them but the thing is that the quarantine will only help that that uh, to a certain degree that when you are quarantined you won't touch any more people new people and infecting new people but you've already infected a lot of people that you have seen while the virus hasn't become active yet so te <coughs> technically the quarantine is effective because you're saying that oh my goodness you came in contact with the person you may have the disease but you you most certainly 100% have the virus and there's and you have come in contact with your family so they need a so they also have the disease they also need to be quarantined and those people will meet on forever and you can't quarantine everyone there's only a select few who's going to who's quarantined and so this is just endless cycle because you never know when you have the virus or not so you could be like oh my goodness that person that I come in contact uh had the had the virus they're showing symptoms oh my goodness i could have the virus too but whenever but you already have it it's just not showing because of the 14 incubation period so the next thing i like to talk about is the outbreak in the united states so today another uh, individual has died due to the virus and this is just the signs for outbreak that is currently starting and then so sorry for the background noise yeah uh but to put the outbreak in the u.s uh the outbreak in the u.s is uh, is already has already started and we could we are all uh we could all uh get this virus especially me since i'm living in santa clay county but all americans have the potential to get the virus and it's really likely that we are getting the virus because this virus is airborne it has a 14 days incubation period so you could have the virus and not even know about it and although the, although the death rate is really low it is extremely fatal to the older population so i would just like to like tell to protect yourself and just always uh try to go out less more unless it's like school like sometimes you have to but also yeah just keep yourself safe and then so the next thing i was also talking about is that could there be another outbreak in china and i think there could because currently march 2nd is their first day of school for students and i have uh and i have went to education in the united states for seventh grade and i know that 90 percent or plus more of my classmates travel through uh public transportation buses subways so this is just the the start of an i feel like it is going to be another spike in the cases 14 days later after incubation period has ended because this is school one to one capacity to ten is in a closed area so and the children will pass it on to their families who will pass it on to more people so i think it's going to be another outbreak but so we will just wait and see what happens 
March 2nd or for Americans March 1st is the next potential outbreak for China. Even though they're saying the numbers are decreasing, but we can never trust their numbers because they come out of the Chinese government who will definitely cover up death. So, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.